Why air egg? Brody and I, of course, playing first person shooter. We're sitting there on the couch. He's driving this Jeep. I'm on the back and I'm, I'm pounding away with the gun and he's hitting the bumps. And then the thing explodes. On the screen, we go flying, but there's really nothing except a little vibration. So what good is that? Like, it's really, it's something missing here. And we started thinking about, wow, you know, that would be great if we could kind of get that feeling across. Not only do you feel the impact, but you feel the spread and you get the kickback and it's all there, the whole experience, and that's when you actually feel like you're totally immersed. And with Air Egg, that's what you get. My name is Brody Stanfield. I'm the president and co-founder of IFTEC. My name is Michael Stanfield, and I'm the vice president and co-founder. Gaming today is a two-dimensional product. Experience is limited to sight and sound, and so we're providing a new dimension. It's a suit, it's a haptic product, that provides sensory stimulation, taking the user into the game. Whether it be sound, um, sensations of touch, the idea of the impact, air will put you into that experience that you've always wanted. There are three major components to this suit. There's the decoder, the exoskeleton, and uh, the sim skin. The decoder is the piece that attaches actually to your console or platform, it takes the information, then it brings that and sends it to the exoskeleton. The exoskeleton is now the component that sort of has all the pieces in AirEgg that you're wearing, from the nervous system, which is the feedback, to the control center, which takes the information from the decoder, as well as the power supply to make sure it's wireless. The sound that we're providing is a patented sound. It's quite a different experience. We want to make it a surround sound feel, so the idea is we have six speakers, uh, two on the front on this side, two on that side, and then on the back one here and one here, as well as a subwoofer. You're always in the sweet spot, no matter where you are. And as for like vibratory feedback, right now it's always been to the controller, so you feel a rumble in your hand. Now we're actually getting it so it's located on the specific parts of your body where it should be. And there are 16 points on the front, eight points on the side, and 16 points on the back. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna test out some vibrational stuff. So to start with, I'm just gonna set a value here. And I'm gonna be top right, you feel that? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's switch that over to bottom left. Yeah, it moves you. Yeah, it switches. Awesome. So that's pretty much how vibration works. As for stims, they're pretty much focused on particular muscles. It contracts the muscles. It can either give a full contraction or it can be a slight contraction. Once again, same thing, top right. So it just sets a value. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'll we'll shut that off. Oh, you feel it? We can see yeah, it moving your shoulder forward like that. Yeah, I know. Lifting a weight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's pretty much it for the basic fundamentals of what Air Egg can actually do. Uh, so what do you think of it? Uh, it, it was pretty interesting. I've never really experienced anything like that. Yeah. yeah. Virtual world awareness. You're actually inside the world that you're playing in. The last piece is the sim skin. So sim skin is the look and feel over top. You can then have these front piece plates that you put on or armor on the sides and that kind of stuff to actually look like you're in the game that you're actually envisioning yourself in. Games already have sound, they already have haptic feedback. So we take that information that's already there and we implement it with Air Egg. And it's now a matter of the developers to take on that role. If they have a game and they want to compete with a AAA game and they're only an indie company, well now you can. It's not just about the visuals anymore. It's about how you can, how you can differentiate your product we think that's going to be a big difference. The ultimate goal of this campaign is to create Air Egg. We want to be able to create that product for you. With Kickstarter success, we can actually ensure that everyone who wants this can get it. The initial involvement of the community will be uh, through our, our website and our IT infrastructure. We want to ensure that the individuals who actually start the Kickstarter program and go through the campaign with us are the individuals who are going to be initially involved in the development process and making decisions with us. Not only do we want you to be part of it, the community, part of purchasing the product, but we want people to actually be part of the development process. We want to bring people in and actually get them to try it out and show us what they actually think is good. We're going to get people to actually come here to our office and work on it with us. So the funding takes into account the development, it takes into account the manufacturing, takes into account some of the distribution costs as well. We have to take a look at it as a whole. See, we want you to help us actually make this everything it can be. The process of this, we want to make sure that it's good from start to finish. We have an engineering firm in place, we have the web infrastructure, warehouse and distribution in place. We have all the components necessary to actually go through this process. Not only will the product be ready and all of your input be in place, but you'll actually get the product on time. 
The customer service section is where we want to focus as well. We believe that that's one of the most important aspects of the community. It's not only the thing that determines the viability and whether this is successful, it's also what determines where we're headed. If you're going to be part of this campaign, we're, we have an expectation actually, we talked about that. Those people who want to be involved, hey, you can see this come to fruition. You'll be part of the success of a new product out there in the market. You're going to be part of the group of people who actually bring this to other households. You finally get to be the, one of the drivers in the gaming industry. Let's take this product and move it forward. You'll be part of the first legion. The only way is to get on board.